Hey guys, Angerance here, and I know I haven't made a video for a week. It's just because I'm lazy, going to the gym, playing video games, and school. And mind me just in the camera, just to make sure it's stable. Yep. And we're talking about Fine Ice of Freddy's, the video game, and why I'm not reviewing the game. And I'll make another video of why I'm not reviewing this and for the next video. You will guess what it is next. Yeah, and why, why I don't like Fine Ice of Freddy's video game franchise. I have nothing against you, Scott. I hope you're keeping, keeping an open mind and you did the right thing by donating 250,000 K to donation. I'm completely fine with that. But I had to make this video very quickly so I can go to the gym, do my workout, and I have another video to record. I just say, well, Financial Phrase, for those who don't know, it's a video game franchise that started last uh, a couple of years ago, or was it last year, that got wide appealed for an indie game. And the first game was basic format, all you had to do was survive by lo looking at the camera and then checking the doors. Second game, pull on the mask when the monsters come in and, and keep pressing the button, so, uh, to, which is your lights, to keep your, uh, keep the monsters away. Very wanted to change it completely by making an extra horror game. And Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, the game hasn't come out yet, but I have physically played Fine Ice of Freddy's 2 and I did not get scared. I'm being honest here. I'm not scared of these games. Seriously, they put on my face once, that's cool. They put on, try to get like the puppet master to uh, uh, scare on me. Guess what? I watched and. Bah! Did it work? Nope. And that's one of the reasons I don't, why I don't want to play this game. The classic jump scare tactic. Just jump scares don't work with me. And I want to watch movies without jump scares. Because jump scares is freaking annoying. I hope you hear that, uh, Scott. I will be expecting them to come down when lights go out. And another thing is, the fans. The fans ruined the game for me. My school does... Uh, no, let's get, uh, not talk about my school. Let's talk about what the majority of fans are. You know what the average fans are in Five Nights at Freddy's? Same as Call of Duty. Children. It's children for Call of Duty. And it's children for Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm getting, getting fed up with these fans. They keep making it like it's a second coming of Christ. Which we don't really care about, right? But... I just really don't like the game at all. I just feel like it's just a cash grab and a pointless game and it's stupidly overplayed. It's overplayed that it's caused me to lose faith within the movie. The movie franchise will fail at the box office because most guess who's gonna see it the most? Children. And the adults they're gonna see this classic jump scare movie that they go, No, that's not not watching this and all that. That's why I, I'm not that confident within the movie, because they had to make it like the Babadook. Why find out, why, you know, where's the jump scares for good news? That's why I'm painting on, on how they're going to do it. The Babadook's creepiness, which I haven't seen it yet, but I will eventually. I'll review it. I have another special movie, which will be an extra long video. And I hope you guys are excited for that. And a jump scare tactic, they had to use it at the right time. Make sure the lights go out when we don't expect it. We go, oh, if you make it too early, we go, well, this guy's gonna die. <sighs> yep, he's dead. But I'm actually damn serious. Next, next thing. Matter why there's no story within the games, that the outside of the games, what the games is based off of, is more interesting than the, uh, your game overall, Scott. You made a huge mistake. That, that's how I see it in the games. Huge mistake. 
if you want to make sure everyone knows about these murders and these events that happen of the games based in real life, make sure it is actual story mode so people can search it out on Google and go, holy shit, that actually happened. But you forgot to put it in. You don't need to put Easter eggs all around the barrier to figure out what year it is. Just make sure you do All you have to do is just use text. Every gamer knows that who's making games. Text during the day. But it doesn't have to be the first game. It's the second game when everyone expects the same format. You can change the deal by putting actual cutscenes. If you do this for the PS4 version, good job, Scott. But I've still not played Final Fantasy Freddy's for a couple of, for a few reasons. One, fans overhyped it, repetitive, overplayed as well. Fans again. The game's the exact same, no matter how much you change it. Scott, you make it look like Call of Duty. What Call of Duty does a little changes, and that's it. The movie may suck because of the stupid format. Whoever says it's gonna be good, trust me on this. It's gonna be another jump scare movie. And Scott, I want you to tell Warner Brothers, have you as a creative consult to make sure the movie's good. Because that happened with Harry Potter, right? Lord of the Rings didn't, because the director knew what he's doing. If you know what you're doing, F off. Not sure, that would be uh, my first round. That's a very good first round back. But guys, whoever is gonna dislike this video, comment below saying you're a faggot because you don't like this game. It's all every game subjective. Same as movies. They're all subjective. I see you guys in the next Anger Rans review. Uh, Anger Rans review and another Anger Rans video. I will see you guys next time. And and thank you very much for watching. Hope I gave you have a great day.